Now, as far as the pictures are concerned, the pictures are, uh, the, by pictures he is referring to the pictures of imaginary idols. Because the camera pictures were not in existence in those days. Obviously, he is not referring to photography. And as far as the painting goes, as, uh, there is no trace, no evidence that in Arabia at that time people were fond of painting sceneries or realities. Even living great men were not painted. The painted, painting was entirely, or the drawing of pictures, was entirely devoted to uh, the promotion of idolatry. So if there was a picture of something, it was bound to be a picture of, a, of an imaginary god. So that is in direct clash with the Islamic concept of unity of God. So there it was obviously uh, prohibited entirely. But you are looking at the same word in a different context now, in a completely different changed circumstances, where pictures are, well, not entirely devoted to realities, but most often they're not. They pertain to the normal ways of life and the realities of, of life. And they are not uh, devoted to Godhead alone. In some places still you find pictures uh, and drawings of gods, so-called gods, and they are as much prohibited today as they were prohibited at the time of the Holy Prophet.